Come on, OBS, don't whine at me. I know you're fine. We should be going. Are the ads really that long this time? Apparently they are. Okay. Alright, so this is uh, Fate Extelia Link. It is a sequel to Fate... Extelia, and it is massively better than that game is. <laughs> partly because there's more servers, and partly because it, the servers you have are nowhere near as deeply creepy <laughs> as they were in Extelia. <clears throat> it's a, for those who never heard of it, Fate, the Fate Extelia and Fate Extelia Link are Dynasty Warriors like games where you just pick a servant and then you go wild. So let's see. We're going to do an extra battle today because I just want to kind of show it off and how it works. <coughs> I don't actually really want to do a story mode or any. I might do the story mode. I haven't actually decided if I want to do that or not yet. But I'm not going to do the story mode right now. Oh, I should probably turn autoplay off considering the text scrolls way too fast and the thought screens there. It's not a big deal. We've been surrounded. People are trying to punch us in the face. We need to go punch them in the face first. Also, I have a golden asshole following me around. <clears throat> Hi, Lancelot! Chatty as ever, I see. So we have Tamamo here. Who is apparently one of my many, many harem ladies and men. We have Lubu here. He's about as chatty as Lancelot. We've also got Francis over here. What's she got? Oh, this is, um... Okay, so, roughly thing is every mission you have, there's a bunch of side missions you can do. Side missions increase your bond rate with each of the servants, which, um... Which is good, because it gives them different stuff they can do. Also, long story short, we are currently in INSIDE of a Noble Phantasm? Uh, this, where we are right now, is Charlemagne's Noble Phantasm. It's a mobile floating fortress, and it's kind of awesome. Out of the way, Gil. Also, Gilgamesh's bond level is so low, he just yells at me if I try to talk to him. I got him stuck behind the pillar! <laughs> Alright, so in story mode you have... Is he still stuck? <laughs> no, there he is. In story mode you have free... Re you essentially have free reign of this. In um, extra mode you have to pick a stage and then you can go into here. You can't actually change the stage without completely backing out and coming back in, which is kind of a pain, but I mean, what are you gonna do? So it looks like Kahulan and Charlemagne's support actions have powered up. Nice. Also, you see the side missions down there. If you mark a servant, you uh, prioritize their side mission to be accepted. And you can see they all have very different things that they want you to do. Sometimes they're simple. Gilgamesh's is very simple. Sometimes they're not so simple. I'm actually not sure what a drive skill is, so I don't know how to how to uh, get Kahulans here, but we'll figure it out. Do 
So the Mystic Codes are your your um, your main character's outfit. It gives you what mo what moves you have to support your servants. And I'm actually giving you the choice here, Pi. What servants should we actually go with? Because we've got quite a few to choose from here. Including one I'm fairly certain you saw on the screen. Yes, we also have, uh, I have no idea how to say her name. Skaith? Scath? Scatch? Her. We've got a lot of options, so who do you want to see? I'm probably going to do multiple extra stages, so don't worry about not getting to see who you want to see. Just pick who you want to see right now. <laughs> I still love those cat eyes Gilgamesh has. It's a hack, okay. So we going with a Stealtho first? Aster Astaroth. <laughs> we just went named Astaroth? What? Okay, let's do Gilgamesh first then, because I actually have some experience with him. Yeah, I just downloaded a save file because I wanted to see if I actually liked the majority of the servants in the game. So I'm... not really experienced, shall we say. But I don't really care. <laughs> it's like kicking a tar's tires before you buy it. You just want to make sure you like it before you pay that much money for it. This is mostly lag free with the settings I have, but it might jolt a little. So I've never actually tried it with OBS yet, so we'll see. Oh. Camera's always a little wonky, but that's just kind of a Dynasty Warriors thing in general. Let's go. Oh. Uh oh. That's actually dashing if you mean the. If you mean this, this is dashing. Where did the fake Lancer go? Oh, cutscene. So the Eightfold Blessings of Amara Amaterasu actually causes our uh, skills to, s to cool down faster? It's easy to get comboed, especially because the camera is not very good. Luckily, all of Gilgamesh's skills are huge AoEs, so I don't mind as much. So the blue bar you see under our health is called the Moon Drive mode. We will get to that a little later. Pick this up. That increases our drive, which is already max, but whatever. Uh, let's see here. Also, if you look on the screen, you, on the map on the top right, you might notice that there's a crown. That's actually where Kaharu is right now. The master actually spawns on the field, and if they go down, uh, congratulations, you've lost. <laughs> Thankfully, since this is a stage-based game, you just have to restart the stage. But that could be quite problematic. Where are you? 
Here's moon drive mode. I got stuck on a pillar. Makes you faster, stronger, and as you might notice, as I kill stuff, that yellow bar goes up. That yellow bar is our noble phantasm bar. When you kill stuff in moon drive mode, enemies drop yellow orbs, which charge it. There are also item drops that can charge it, so I'm keeping an eye out for those, because I really want to show off his noble phantasm. Also, it's not insignificant, Gil. Don't be rude. Install skills are just pickups for later. He's got an install skill right now that uh, increases his defense and stuff. They're basically equipment. Alright, let's go help Tamamo. Assuming I can navigate my way out. <laughs> the one problem with dashing is that he's stuck in the, d in the direction he's going once you dash. This would be the easiest way. Because it's not blocked by that mana spot. Everybody has a different animation for dashing. I'm coming, Tamamo! Lickety split? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> His gate skills are kind of amazing. I love them. Also, you might notice that there's a line between me and Tamamo now. When you and an allied servant are in the same area, you sort of link up and you share damages and also I can use some of her skills. Or I could if I didn't have all my skills slotted. The problem is she's not a caster type, so she's not boosting- or sorry, she's not an archer type. She is a caster type, so she's not boosting Gilgamesh's skills. Maybe she was, it didn't seem that his skills got, uh, an upgraded boost. Uh, this way. <laughs> yeah, you might notice that the double archer things on the Gate of Babylon and Enkidu modification? Those are his archer class skills. That matters for something. Uh, is the fake Kahulan clipped in the ground? No, he's over here. There you are. I forgot to deselect that. That skill makes him immune to damage and auto counter everything, but he, it only lasts for a couple seconds. He is completely immobile while doing it, and the enemy has to decide to attack, which, as you saw there, they don't really often do. The shadows are actually fake. Uh, I don't really know what to... Think of them as like mass-produced spirits based off the pattern of a servant. They're not the real servant. Oh, somebody came here with me. Oh, no, that was offensive support. Kahulan spawned to help me out. You might have noticed when I started that I had Kahulan and Asafo set as uh, a sister servants. That means that... It during certain circumstances, they will pop in to help me out somehow. Kahulan is an offensive support. So he, uh, attacks. And that mana spot is now mine. So the locks on certain sectors have now been disabled. The sector above me has been taken, so, uh, let's deal with that. This is Gilgamesh's place. He doesn't kindly take take to other people taking it. Whoop! Oh, hello! This candor's getting a little... A little snippy, it looks like. I think uppity is the word I was looking for there. Yes, I know there's one behind me. I think it's dead. Yeah, not worth using. That 
one is nearly dead. There you go. Uh, I thought there was a chest here. Alright. Uh, we need to go... down. Mama, your legs are in the way. Alright, so we need to go down this way. And then down this way. And whenever you encounter an enemy servant, you get a nice little cutscene like this. Enemy servants are understandably harder than normal servants. Ugh. God, I love that laugh. And moon drive mode go. And here's what happened. If you land if you land a lot of hits and then use a class skill, you can get them into this break mode, which allows you to do a ton of damage without them being able to uh, fight back. Also, yes, that is one that is one hell of an elephant. It also hurts if you give him a chance to use it. They get cleaved off like a quarter of Gil's health in one hit. Uh oh. Where's the lust? Where's the lust aggressor? Yeah, that's a bad thing. I gotta take this aggressor and head up towards the master to keep Ixander from getting her. This one's over here. There we go. Sector's mine. Alright. Time to get moving. Don't worry about leaving enemies in the sector. Once, If they're not servants, once you uh, take over the sector, they just vanish. Ain't got time for... Go, Gel. Ain't got time for you guys. Don't get stuck on things. Come on. This is a problem I have in normal Dynasty Warrior games. I just get stuck on the scenery. Also, you can see in the top right that uh, Koharu's health is going down fast. Unfortunately, I was very far away when Xander decided to spawn. Also, that's not almost retreated. Her health is... She's still got, like, a third health. Here we go. Gil, if you're... Let your servant disappear, then you're gonna lose. You wanna do that? Uh, oh, he remembers me. Oh, God.
Goodbye. And you might notice something really fun now. Namely the fact that we appear to have a fully charged a uh, Noble Phantasm gauge. So Kaharu is up there. You can see her health is actually regenerated. Once you get rid of what's attacking them, their health refills. Now we gotta go find Tamamo. Luckily the servants can last longer than the, your master can, so you can take a little bit more time to get to them. From what I've noticed, they also heal rapidly as well. There's Astolfo with his support. <laughs> There's Kuhulin again! One down. And the final one is just over here. I think it's related on your bond level. I don't know for sure. How did that miss? I think I did that again. I really need to un unequip that. Tomomo's still doing good. Final one is right behind me. <laughs> oh, Gil. Actually, gonna want to show off his, uh... Yep. He says the range straight down if you do a combo in the air. It's kind of great. Tamamo's still doing okay. Making sure to keep an eye on her so I know that I, if I have to stop my uh, sector conquering to go help her out. Final one is just down here. Somewhere. There you are. What pass what pass an aggressor? Oh well. hit that one and then we'll hit the other two sectors since she's still doing fine. He said that last time, did you not notice? <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, unfortunately I can't do anything about that. They auto-fade in battle. Alright, where are the things I need to kill? There's one of them. Oh, is Darius over here? Something got a target on it. So he is! That's why Tamamo's handling herself. Alright then. Let's have some fun. <laughs> and it one shot him. You can hear it actually started playing Gilgamesh's theme when uh, Internet Lush went off. Harsh, Gil. No. No, it shouldn't. to beat up Alexander again. I think he's right behind me. There you are. Bye, Alex. Holy crap, things are still exploding. <laughs> Alright, now where am I going for the general? Wait, is that it? No, I can still attack. Not done yet. Here we go. Here's our boss servant. There's two of them, in fact. Alright, where are we going? Down here. Berserkers are not very chatty, sadly. Also, Pi might notice we've got kind of an ace in our sleeve if she looks at that uh, gold bar. I just need a little bit more charge, and uh, these guys are going to get hit and get hit hard. Uh-oh. Whoop! Haha, <laughs> you missed me! Also, your moon gauge pauses when stuff like this happens, which is nice. Don't 
Don't you get in a mashing fight with me, you'll lose! Oh, I think I got hit. And look at what's fully charged! Yep, he, he has different lines for it. I find this one not anywhere near as cool, though. And both of them are down! <laughs> <laughs> and we are now finished because I can't actually pull the weapons out again. It's really not, no. Or the creepy cackle. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, then. I did really good. <laughs> wow. And there does War Cry. Step with the ship land cruising. Oh, I should put that on instead of his charge skill, considering that the guard skill is useless. Not use probably not useless in general, but useless in this difficulty. And these are basically skills you can just install on your servant to get more bonuses and stuff. That's Charlemagne. And fortunately I didn't have a dry skill equipped, I think. So those two failed. I really wish I knew what he was saying. <laughs> I feel like it's some kind of backhanded praise, but I just really want to know what it is. I have acquired Alexander's costume battle president! Wow, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, clearing the EX stages gets you new costumes for everybody. Gilgamesh's is, uh... in one I don't think I'm good enough to do yet, though I would really like to do that. So let's see. Don't worry too much about levels because I can boost a character's level. Let's go ahead and do this one. I have- the save file had like endless QP so I can boost levels as necessary. Battlefield Rome. Two self-proclaimed divas are planning to hold an idol festival in peaceful Rome. Some festival should never be held. If this explosive sound echoes through Rome, many people will suffer? What? Stop these two from taking the stage at all costs. Um... Okay... <laughs> I'm kind of confused. We got Kahulan up. Let's see what Charlemagne has to say. Attack while in a link state. I know what the link state is. I'm not sure what a rush attack is. Oh, hey, look at this! These two are sitting together and not trying to kill each other? I call shenanigans. Also, Kahula's voice is weird in this game. Oh, so they're talk They're talking about Nero and Elizabeth Bal Baltroy, was it? Balthroy? There's Drake over here again. Uh somebody's there. 
And it looks like Lancelot's still hanging around. Balthroy. No gambling in Charlemagne's court. Oh, this is Gawain! Actually, I don't see him very often, so I didn't recognize him from a distance. And that's everybody currently on the field. Actually, I didn't get a I didn't get a bond up with Gilgamesh, did I? No, I didn't. Oh well. Yeah, you can quick you can quick uh quick jump to certain sections, but eh. They get new dialogue every bond level, and I think there's like thirty bond levels. It's not every bond level, maybe it's just every so often. I'm not actually sure, but it does give you like the little red pop up if they're ready to say something new to you. So let's see. I promised a cute crossdresser, I believe. So since Gilgamesh is getting taken off the front lines, he can go into support instead. Let's get some install skills here into Astolfo. So you have as many slots as you have bonds. So since we have bond, a high bond with Astolfo, we have five. Also, if you put things of like colors together, uh, they increase in strength. Like, notice how those two have got now gotten 10% up because they're together? Just load all that up and get him uh, nice and buffed. I love his grin too. Also, uh, Stoffel has like this weird little fang. Clear EX battle like a Stoffel incident. I might do that next then. What is this one? Oh, it's him in a cute little swimsuit. Oh my god. This is adorable. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable! Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with his actual armor for at least this. He is! So cute that people still keep mistaking him for a girl. Let's see. 20 should do it. Close range attack skill. Repeat attack, short sword, move in, and repeatedly stab. Yeah, this is this is the thing that Gilgamesh had that I was using that I haven't found any use for because you're just stuck immobile, and your enemies do not attack. You have to rely on your enemies attacking, which doesn't happen. Calls panic, La Black Luna. What is La Black Luna? Touch it and fall, trap of Argalia? Oh yeah, blue skills are attack, um, yellow skills are some kind of defense, I think. Purple are movement slows and re orange here are power-ups. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and go with power up here, because I actually can figure out what that one does. Alrighty! 
Cell phone's ready to go. What are our side missions? Interesting. Rush attack twice. Take over three sectors. 50 HP and get a 200 hit combo. I think that means by the time the thing is over. And defeat three aggressors at once with a drive skill. Still don't really know what a drive skill is. But I guess we'll find out. You told me it was a special attack, but I don't know what attacks are special attacks. I don't know if, if is is it the blue colored ones? Is it the gold colored ones? Does it have a specific icon? No, I don't. I play like f 20 minutes of the first one and then had to quit because I just found Nero so creepy. I've never seen that happen. Oh. Try to stab my own people. Whoops. Whoa, cool! Is he using a lance? No, that's a sword. It's turning into a lance, isn't it? This seems a little dramatic for an idol festival. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Charlemagne! You guys are just rude! <laughs> He's using a lance! Yeah, Charlemagne's a new servant. Guys, I don't think you understand how this is go- What's happening here? <laughs> Lancer! <laughs> you have to be by a ticket! I don't want a ticket! This is so cool! Did he just do a spin on the lance? having a good time over there, are you? Ah! Oh, I remember that now. I don't use that, because I prefer drive mode for the n noble phantasms. So I completely forgot it existed. Where's Elizabeth? There she is. Wow, rude. And Nameless is helping me out since he was right here. Link State is just having uh, another servant nearby you. There's Kahulan. He's over this way. We're coming, don't die yet! I love that he rides on the hippogriff to get around. He's got much longer hair, I think, is the thing. I like it. Well, 
At least it didn't focus on her crotch. Small favors. The front might be? <laughs> Charlemagne! Uh, let's see. How do I... How do I trigger it? Oh, you have to hit B again for the drive scale. Whoops. Oh well. was an interesting glitch. Okay. Where is... Where's the mana point? It's north. Kill these plants, these are what's actually spawn the shadow servants. Oh, Sluffo, please! I really like the targeting resexual to actually target the thing I'm trying to get its target. There we go. Wondering why the concert is so terrifying to all of these people. And down goes the mana point. Oh, that's so cute. Oop, that's a noble. Ooh, the, yeah, that's right, the yellows are noble phantasm maxes, so I should leave those be. Trying to figure out where she is. There's Nero. Sulfo. This is rumbling gloomy daylight out of my controller. <laughs> No. Let's not do that. Goodbye. Oh, there's no way, Charlemagne. I'm sorry. Or 
already to the boss stage. Kahulan. I'm actually trying to kind of delay to get one of the allied servants here. There we go. from behind. Thankfully Nameless countered her. She countered me out of the rush. This is the main problem with a lot of servants in one spot. You can easily, easily get juggled. I think Gil just defended me, though. You guys need to get out. And all three of us are hammering on her, though you can't see because the camera's stuck on the rock. down. Where's Nero? Right behind me. That's where Nero is. Goodbye. She really is. We Asafa has the cutest run too. Everything about this boy is adorable. Yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't have quite the range Gilgamesh does on his kills. But still, that's not bad. From horrible singing, apparently. <laughs> I love the fact that, uh... I love the fact that Kuhulan was so terrified that their singing was bad it would kill him. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get it lined up for the aggressors. Luckily, failing the thing doesn't do anything. You just don't get bond points. Hooray! I got a, I got an outfit for a character I will never use. Let's go ahead and do this and see if we can get Astolfo's costume. Apparently the boss is Medusa if you're controlling Astolfo. Charlie and Astolfo are fighting a difficult battle against Carl's army led by Medusa. The enemy is not attacking all at once but chipping away at them. 
Maybe not. Carl's armies never take servants alive and assimilate them. Oh, jeez. Defeat Medusa and save Charlie and Astolfo. Alright, so who should I be using for this one? they couldn't handle the fact you can break reality. What is happening to that text box? <laughs> Alright then. Nobody at the fire pit. It's Tamama over here. Meh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> also, I like Charlemagne. He's so, such a sweet dude. <laughs> it's Arturia. I'd sooner shove her down a hole than talk to her. I think that's everybody who spawned that actually matters. I don't think I've actually ever checked Astolfo's bond dialogue. Let's go talk to him. Yep, Jean d'Arc. I think that's how you say her name. Also, my mouse cursor's not showing up, is it? It constantly keeps popping back to the center of the screen. Okay, good. He is still the most adorable thing. I guess we were staring at him? <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, the servant you have currently active will follow you on the screen, which also means they won't pop up here. Sweet! So who should I actually be rocking with this time? 